Johnson. He's down to the goal line. He's over. Well, hello. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this video. And welcome to the Great Hour. Before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone out there who's been watching my videos. Thank you. If you can maybe give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment below or possibly even share this video. It would mean so much to me. But at least anyway, thank you so much for just taking time out of your day to check out this video. Thank you. Um, and I got the um, PFF, okay, uh, team and player grades after our Week 15 debacle against the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, another game, another loss. All right, let's see. Let's see here. All right, so overall team grade, the New York Giants. We were we were pretty low last week, and uh, we're still low again this week. According to PFF, we're number 28 overall. We're 64.7. The Los Angeles Rams are are number one. Their, their team grades at 92.8. Wow. Offensive grades. Let's see here. Yeah. New England Patriots, 86.6. Just according to Pro Football Focus, that's all. all right, but the rookie quarterback, 86.6. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, offensive grade. The Giants are number 29. We're 64.6. Passing grade. Cincinnati Bengals take over the top spot. Um, Tampa Bay was number one, but uh, they got shut out against the Saints. So um, they're, they're, Bucks are number two. Cincinnati Bengals, number one, 88.8. The Giants passing grade, we're number 22, we're 64.6. Our offensive grade is a 64.6. Our passing grade is a 64.6. Our pass blocking grade, the Rams are number one. They're 82.2. And our pass blocking grade, now the New York Giants were number 28. We're 53.2. Not very impressive. Receiving grade. Let's see here. San Francisco 49ers. The Skittle Man is just coming to life. That's why. That's one of the biggest reasons why the 49ers are number one. Um, let's see here. I mean, it's unbelievable. They, they, I mean, just scored a pro football focus once again. The New England Patriots are number two. They're the rookie quarterback. Uh, just receiving grade. The Giants are number 29. Wow, we're at 66.4, our running grade. Let's see, well, I mean, we've been able to run the ball a little bit, but uh, it doesn't, let's see. Buffalo Bills are number one, 90.6. We're number 29, we're at 64.6. Three of our grades are 64.6 on the offense. <laughs> our running grade, 64.6, run blocking grade. San Francisco 49ers, number one, 88.2. We are number 21, run blocking grade. We're 63.9. Number 21. Now we go to the defense. The Rams are number one, 83.8. With the defense, who oh well. We're number 26. We're 60.1. The defensive grade and the defense did pretty good. I mean, the Cowboys had two drives all game. All, all game, we gave them two short fields with the interception, the ten yard drive, scoring drive after the interception. Um, then uh, we saved on Barkley's fumble. I think it was a field goal. Then we uh, gave it to him on our own twenty. <laughs> Tried for on fourth and one, our own 29. Couldn't make it, of course. Um, so we gave him a 29-yard field, and he scored another touchdown. But, I mean, you know, all in all, I mean, you know, you figure, um, you, know, he, he, you know, even if they went up and down the field, they only scored 21 points. I mean, that's pretty darn good. 
especially for, uh, you know, we have no offense. So, I mean, you got to be, uh, you know, pretty, pretty, that's pretty impressive. I mean, uh, the week before when we gave up 37 points to the Chargers, that was not impressive. But this week against the, the, the Cowboys, that, you know, 21 points, only, only gave up like 325 yards of offense. Whatever. That's pretty impressive. Our run defense, which did a decent job this week against uh, Pollard and Zeke. Uh, you know, Zeke, Zeke didn't really hurt us too bad. Zeke had, had, Zeke had one good run. Other than that, we did a pretty good job of shutting him down. But uh, Pollard, boy, I tell you, that guy, really good. Really, really good. When his uh, contract's up and he's going to want to go on the, on the market, as long as he stays healthy and all everything, he'll get some money. And especially, you know, I'm sure he'll probably do pretty decently after his rookie contract's up because he's not getting, you know, unless Zeke gets, winds up getting hurt. But, I mean, Zeke is the starter. Pollard comes in to relieve him. So, I mean, Pollard doesn't, ain't going to have a lot of uh, wear and tear on those tires. So, you know. And we got to be pretty happy with, you know, what we got with Devontae Booker, our second string. I mean, he's done pretty good for us this year. That, that, was, that was a good signing. That was a very good signing. Okay, our run defense, let's say the Rams are number one at 90.1. The Giants are number 21. We're at 50.2, our run defense. Now, our tackling's been good. Green Bay Packers are number one, 82.7. The John, we're number seven. We're 73.9. So, pass rush. Pass rushing. Okay. Let's get the Rams are number one. 83.8. Giants with their pass rush. Let's see. We are number 26. We're 65.3. Coverage grade. Patriots are number one in 89. The Bill, oh, they, they overtook the Bills. The Bills were number one for a long time. Bills in 88.5. Patriots in eight, Aaron 89. Our Let's see, our coverage grade, we're number 22, we're at 61.9. Our special teams grade, we've been pathetic all year. The Saints are number one, they're 91.8. And we've been, we're 31. Special teams grade, we're 31. We're at 59.2. I mean, as I keep saying, is that, you, know, you figure with Joe Judge, you figure you know, special teams be a little more special than, uh, you know, what they have been. All right, so let's go to game reports, offensive grades. Okay, here we go. Colin Johnson graded on 85.6. He was the highest graded offensive player. He was only, <laughs> only in there for seven snaps. So. Andrew Thomas, yes, the stud. 83.7, phenomenal. And uh, there was an article I read about... Um, Rob Sale was talking about he, he he thinks there's a possibility Andrew Thomas can be an elite tackle, um, you know, which would be freaking awesome. He doesn't even have to be elite, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just you know, be what he's doing right now. I mean, it's just be fantastic. But you also got to realize he's dealing with ankle and and foot problems now. Of course, he had you know he had, the, he had a, uh, a problem last year too, which which hampered him. So. Hopefully this this isn't a thing that just continues year after year for him, you know. Um, but I mean, he's, you know, he's dealing with foot and ankle injuries like pretty much all year long. So I mean, every time you set, you try to, you know, it's it's got to be causing him some problems. But I mean, for him to grade out an eighty three point seven, really really good. His pass blocking is eighty eight point nine, baby. Yeah. Okay, Jake from wow. He was the third highest graded. Only in for 13 plays. Graded as 78.7. Well, all right. Well, I'll have to wait and see what Captain Joe Judge thinks about uh, who's he going to start against the Eagles this weekend. Billy Price, the center, had another nice game. 74.1. Very, very good. Uh, Nate Solder. He was in there for 31. And pretty much him and uh, Parrott. They kind of like split, split the, the snaps kind of pretty much. But Nate Solder was in there for 31. He graded out of 68.4. Kenny Galladay was in there for 57 snaps. He graded out of 64. Matt Skier uh, was in there for 63 snaps. He graded out of 63.2. Devontae Booker, he was in there for 28. 
graded out at 63.1. Darius Slate was in there for 39. Snaps, he read out at 59.4. Evan Ingram was in there for 55 snaps. He read out at 58.8. Corey Cunningham was just in there for four snaps. Uh, 58.7. Matt Parrott was in there for 32 snaps. He read out at 57.2. Elijah Penny was just in there for two snaps. 57.1. Kyle Rudolph was in there for 27 snaps. He's a 55.1. Farrell Cooper just in there for three snaps. 54.3, Chris Myrick, uh, was just in there for five snaps. He was a 53.7. Saquon Barkley, I was in there for 37 snaps. I mean, he graded out at 53.2. Kind of weird. Yeah, it's weird because the guy here, and he's had a hard time pass blocking his whole career. His pass block grade was a 73. That was his highest, his Highest grade out of everything. His running grade was a 54. His passing grade was a 51.2. His overall was a 53.2. His pass blocking grade was a 73. Huh. But, as, but he had a, he's, he's like the fourth from the bottom as far as PFF grade. Anyway, Sterling Shepard. Sadly, I was in there for 51 snaps. He graded at 52.8. Will Hernandez. Uh, I was in there for 63 snaps. He graded out of 46.2. And Mike Lennon, something you don't want to see. Your quarterback is the absolute worst out of all of them. Graded out of 41.0. Well, you know, there's a good chance Mike Lennon and Will Hernandez may not be on the team next year. So, I mean, Will Hernandez, well, I mean, I'll tell you what, his, his rookie season, it, it was very promising. You know, and it just he just seems to just a Gone down since then. Gone down. All right, now, defensive grade. Let's see what we got here. Defensive grade. Lorenzo Carter. <laughs> where the hell is this guy at all season long? He, he's the only one he graded out at a 90.8. Lorenzo Carter was in there for 49 snaps. Two sacks, three quarterback hits. I mean, a pass defensed. 90.8. Holy cow. He must have missed a, a tackle or something, because his tackling grade is a 48.6. And he, if he didn't miss a couple of tackles, I guess, his, his, his defensive grade would have been 90-something. But he was the, he's the only one in the whole team graded out over a 90. And, I mean, this is, this is like, let me just take this out. I mean, oh, oh, I mean like, he's been, like, missing an action all year. I guess it, he graded out at 90.8. Last week, he graded out at a 48. Against the Chargers. Graded out a 62 against Miami, a 60 against Philly. Carolina was a 73.2. Uh, the Rams, it graded out a 55.4. Dallas, the first time, graded out a 63. Then against New Orleans, he was a 48.9. Against Atlanta at home, a game we really should have won, he graded out a 49.3. Washington, he graded out a 58.2. First game of the year, he graded out a 62. I mean, what the hell? Where the hell I mean, he graded out ninety point eight. Where the hell was that at all year long? Unbelievable. Jaron Williams graded out at eighty two. Fantastic. He was in there for seventy snaps. He was in there pretty much. I think. I, th I guess he missed. I think he missed missed one snap. I mean, phew, phenomenal. Eighty two. Way to go. His pass coverage grade was an 83.2. Phenomenal. Wow. Wouldn't it be great if he, if, you know, if he, if he, I mean, not keep up in 80, if he kept up in 82, that would be phenomenal. But boy, I'll tell you what, wouldn't that be just great, if, you know, if we can get somebody like him, you know, to really help, help produce for us? Man, that would be fantastic. Leonard Williams, I'll tell you what, man, you got to take your cap off, tip your cap to this guy. He graded at 76.6. There was a chance he wasn't going to play. I mean, I was reading all kinds of stuff. His season was over with after uh, his uh, injury uh, against the Chargers. Yeah, I, I, he hasn't missed a game in, in, in his professional career. So the man wants to play. So you, you got to, I mean, I've been kind of hard on him, especially early on in the season, like when he wasn't getting any sacks and stuff like that. I'm like, dude, you're making $21 million. Can we get like something, anything? A bag of Doritos, anything from you? I mean, 
but you know, determination and all of that stuff, heart, you know, the man's got it. You know, I mean, I don't know if you know, if he you know, deserved it. You know, or he's earning his twenty-one million, but you got to give the man a lot of credit. Man, could have been out this this week, and he wanted to play. Got regardless of what his play is, the man's got a lot of heart, and the man wants to play. So you got to give him some credit for that. Jalen Smith. Ooh, baby. Uh, only 17 snaps, okay? Um, but he had four tackles. 17 snaps, four tackles. And one of them, I think one of the last, I think it was like the last snap of the game or one of the last time when, when Dallas was taking a knee. So, I mean, there's nobody making a tackle on that one. I don't think. It was, but he graded out a 73.7. So he was in there for 17 snaps and was in all four tackles. So I don't know if he's going to be able to keep that up. I mean, I'm sure... The adrenaline, everything of just playing his former team. I mean, he played in 27 snaps for the Packers in two games, and he had one tackle. Here he had 17 snaps, and he played, and he got four tackles. So, if he can keep that up, <laughs> that would be phenomenal. That would be a, that would be a hell of a steal for us. Um, well, I just keep an eye on. So he has 17 snaps. So the next three weeks. If he stays healthy and all that stuff and everything, we'll have to because they they signed him to the squad. So he's on the squad. He's not in the practice squad no more. He's on the squad. So we'll have to see what his um, you know, his uh, production is, how many total snaps he starts getting, and all of that. So this week was seventeen. I'm sure he's going to get a lot more this week coming up against the Eagles. Because uh, for him it'll be important because when we're going up maybe against Jalen Hurts, I mean if, if he you know, he likes to run the ball so. We're gonna, we need people in there that can help track him down. So it'd be very important to have him in there. Um, that's if they start you. Yeah, I, I have to wait and say if we're going to have Hurts in there or Minshew Mania because Minshew Mania did pretty good last time he was in there. So we'll have to, interesting to see who, who the Eagles have playing quarterback. It's going to be a big game. Big game. Actually, it's, it's today. Them against Washington. So it's a big, big, big game. And then, of course, then this Sunday we got playing the Eagles. So... Uh, Julian Love, Mr. Duct Tape, did very well. He was in there for 51 snaps, had a 69. Dexter Lawrence had a very nice game. That's good to see. He was in there for 46 snaps. He graded out a 68. James Bradbury. I'll tell you what, we did very, very good. ABCD Lamb, I think, had six receptions, but he didn't have, none of them had a lot of yards. Schultz had like eight receptions, I think, against us and, and, and the touchdown, but he, he had like 68 yards or something like that. Nobody, I mean... Uh, uh, Dak had like 200, 203 yards passing, I believe it was. So, you know, he didn't. Nobody, nobody torched us on the on the, on their offense. You know, he, you know, he completed a bunch of passes. Um, he completed like seventy six percent of his passes against us. But you know, that's basically what we've been doing all year long. Soft guard or whatever. You know, what I mean, let him complete the pass, come up, make the tackle. So, but uh, James Bradbury. He's in there for 70 snaps. He graded out at 65.8. Xavier McKinney, he was in there for every snap. All 71 of them graded out at 63.3. Quincy Roche, uh, half a sack. He was in there for basically half the snaps. He was in there for 36 snaps. Graded out at 61.5. Aziz Ojolari was in there for 47 snaps. He graded out at 60.2. Uh, let's see, uh, David Moa. Wow, David Moa signing. Wow, huh. Uh, he graded out, he was only in there for two snaps. He graded out of 60. Danny Shelton, he was in there for 25 snaps. Graded out of 59.3. Keen Crossan, uh, let's see, he was in there for 15 snaps. He graded out of 58.5. Logan Ryan, he was in there for every snap. So, so McKinney and Ryan were in there. The two safeties were in there for every snap. <laughs> they didn't bother coming off the field. Logan Ryan graded out of 54. So, not, not nothing super spectacular there. I mean, he he had, he was second on the team. He did he had ten he had ten tackles though. So, uh, Raymond Johnson the third. He uh, let's see, he was only in there for eleven snaps. Graded out of fifty one. Tay Crowder, he was in there for all the snaps. He led the team with twelve tackles, but he graded out at a fifty point nine. Um, let's see, Austin Johnson, he was in there for 39 snaps, graded out of 50.5. Ellerson Smith, another not-so-good game. He, um, 
It was only in there for 15 snaps, graded out of 48.5. Reggie Ragland was in there for just 10 snaps, graded out of 35.8. And Bernardrick McKinney was in there for 20 snaps, graded out of 29.9. So now, I mean, you got Reggie Ragland was a middle linebacker. He graded out of 35.8. Bernardrick McKinney, middle linebacker, graded out of 29.9. Tay Crowder, middle linebacker, graded out of 50.9. So, I mean, our middle linebackers are not really, <laughs> not really, really kind of missing Blake. I hope, I hope, uh, reading his, his, his recovery is coming, it's coming along well. Hope he'll be, you know, be back hopefully in time for next season. Uh, or the beginning of next season, I'll you know, obviously have to keep an eye on that. But, uh, you know, we can certainly use him in the middle. Um, you know, Tay Crowder and, and Gang have been doing an admirable job, but, you know, we could use some help there. And if we can get somebody in the draft, I mean, you know, I, I don't know who they're going to, who the GM is, who they're going to draft, but, I mean, if you, can, if you can get Blake Martinez, if you get somebody else in the draft next to him, you know, I can tell you, somebody can go sideline, because there's a couple of those guys out there that go sideline to sideline, that would be huge. But, um, you know, I, 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 obviously I want to see us grab a couple offensive linemen I said, we'll have to wait and see. Who knows? But since the Giants lost, okay, we still got four wins. The um, Bears lost to the Vikings at home, which is, yes, good. So they still have four wins. So now the Giants still have picks number four. I'm, I'm sorry, my bad. Picks number five and pick number six. Now the Bears have to play in Seattle. Hopefully Mr. Wilson will take care of business there and give the Bears another loss. Then the bear, then the Giants are playing the Bears. So unless unless we come out of a tie, uh, you know, somebody unfortunately is probably going to wind up winning that game. But um, then you figure the last week of the season, the Bears are playing in Minnesota. Now, uh, you know, Minnesota's offense last night was not something really super spectacular, but at home they're a lot more effective inside the dome and all that. So hopefully, maybe the Vikings can put another loss on the Bears. So. Maybe at the, at the most, maybe the Bears might have maybe five wins. Maybe they might wind up five and 12. Maybe. And maybe if the Giants get maybe one more win, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe, maybe, if some miracle, maybe they get two. They'd still wind up, what would that be, six and 11. So, I mean, between the Bears and the Giants, only getting maybe, you know, four, five, or six wins. We, we, you know, we, we, we're definitely going to be in the top 10 with both picks. I mean, no lock stock guarantee or nothing, but I mean the way teams, both teams are playing, their remaining schedule. You know we're gonna have a hard time against the Eagles. We always do. Um, the Washington football team, you know, the last game of the season, you know, um, you know might be playing for a playoff spot. We'll have to wait and see. That won't be an easy game. And then of course then we got to go and play in the road and play the Bears. So you know even we we get another win or two, we would have six wins. Um, if the Bears maybe get another win, maybe they'll have five wins. But, I mean, if they, both teams only have five or six wins, we definitely will be in the top ten without, without question. I mean, with the season's over with, and if we got two top ten picks in the first round next year, that's something to definitely look forward to. Well, as always, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this video. You guys stay safe out there. and Go Giants! Woo!